Hello, I'm Chef Leanne. I live and work in the fabulous Florida Keys. I am also a private and personal chef. I have my catering kitchen and an event location called The Table. This is where clients can come in to me and I could do catering for them at this location. Majority of my clients are vacation rentals and I go to their homes. Another portion of my business is private chef catering where this is where I have my magic. I do all of my catering in this kitchen. This week's episode is all about fishing in the Florida Keys and we're gonna be doing a mahi dish. Mahi is a bullnose dolphin. It's not a porpoise and it can be caught in the Atlantic Ocean. It's a beautiful fish. It's fluorescent blue. They're fun to catch. It's probably the majority of everyone's favorite asking for the mahi. So what I'm gonna be doing is a mahi with a chimichurri sauce that we're gonna make here and I'm gonna serve it with a Cuban style white rice and a black bean sofrito that just elevates the dish and makes it wonderful. And then I'm gonna garnish it with a Cuban style salad, avocado, tomato, red onion, and I'm gonna make my own key lime vinaigrette, which also has fantastic flavor. Um, I'm gonna start with the chimichurri sauce um, and get that going before we do anything else. And I'm gonna do that in the blender over here. So we're doing a chimichurri sauce to marinate the mahi in. Chimichurri is a South American uh, dish, uh, traditionally done with parsley. Um, I like adding a Caribbean flair to things, so I'm gonna be doing my chimichurri with a uh, cilantro. I'm gonna start with some shallots. And I'm gonna add some fresh cilantro. I like a little bit of heat, so I'm adding some chili peppers. I love Calabrian chilies, but I just don't have any available today, so I'm using the chili pepper. And then some fresh oregano. You have to have oregano and a good chimichurri. I'm gonna add some key lime juice. And then lots of olive oil to get it all emulsified. I love using chimichurri, especially when I'm using the cast iron skillet and I'm grilling. I, I use it on shrimp, fish, steak. It's my go-to spice and I use it a lot. Blending. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Now we're just gonna marinate the mahi in the chimichurri just before we grill it and it'll give it some really fantastic flavor. All right, now that I've, I've finished the chimichurri and the mahi fillets are marinating, I'm gonna go ahead and do a sofrito. Sofrito is in any Spanish dish. There's Mexican, Cuban, Puerto Rican, you name it. I'm gonna be doing an authentic Cuban sofrito. Then again, because I live here in the Florida Keys, I love bringing in uh, that Cuban influence since we're only 90 miles from Cuba. So I put a little bit of oil in the pan and I'm gonna add some, and this is in every sofrito, no matter where you go. It's green pepper and onion. I'm adding some fresh garlic. I'm gonna give that a little bit of a saute. And then I'm adding some oregano, which is very Cuban. Some cumin. And then some red chili peppers. And add what you want. If you like it hot, add a lot. If you don't, add a little. 
and then of course bay leaf. Now the bay leaf has to be uh, taken out of your black beans when it's finished cooking. Um, it's just for the cooking process. And then I'm going to add in black beans. This, I wish you could smell this because the smell is just extraordinary. When I'm cooking in uh, private homes or I'm doing an event and I make a sofrito, that's the comment that I always get. What is that? What are you cooking? It's just a beautiful aroma. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm going to give that a couple of minutes to heat through. And while that's heating through, I want to show you how to cut a mahi filet. Because usually when you pick them up uh, from the market or you're fishing on your own, um, the filet are usually quite large. And they have a pretty big bloodline on the back of them. And so I just want to show you to cut out the bloodline because the bloodline is what's very fishy. We move these out of the way. And you just want to cut the bloodline out. And you can discard it. It's, it's of no use. And it's also very fishy. All right, so now that that's done, we go ahead and get these fillets cooking. I like using a cast iron skillet. If you're on the inside of the house, um, best way to do it is on a grill if you're outside. But today we're gonna use a cast iron skillet. And I use it for almost everything. A little bit of olive oil. We'll let that come to heat. Mahi is probably uh, caught all year long in the Florida Keys. There really is no season for mahi. You can go out any time of year and you can catch it. We do have seasons for the grouper and the snapper and hogfish, but for mahi, you can catch it all year long. It doesn't matter. And um, like I said, it's probably the fish that is most often requested from my customers. does not take long to cook. Really, you only need to do two or three minutes on each side. Uh, in my opinion, most places overcook seafood. It, you know, especially, again, if you're catching fresh fish right out of the ocean, why cover it up with uh, you know all these different sauces and overcook it and ruin such a beautiful thing? Now, sofrito is served on top of white rice. I'm not showing you how to make the rice because I think most people know how to make white rice. Take out the bay leaves because you don't want to eat those. Which, by the way, bay leaf grows naturally here in the Keys. We have trees all over the islands that have the bay leaf here. Most people don't know that. Also, Florida is uh, the largest agricultural state. Uh, we have an abundance of uh, peppers, tomatoes, onion farms up in the central part of Florida. Um, and we get them here uh, in the Keys, uh, trucked down. So we do have local produce. And my farm to table, of course, is the sea. I'm going to be touching this up with a fresh key lime just to add a little bit of citrus to it. There you go. 
All right, so you have fresh mahi caught yesterday, marinated in a homemade chimichurri sauce, grilled in a cast iron skillet, served over white rice with a Cuban style black sofrito. So it's only appropriate that we stick with the Caribbean theme to go with this beautiful mahi dish marinated in a chimichurri sauce over the black bean sofrito. So I'm doing a traditional Cuban salad. I have to add a little bit of a spin to it, so I'm using my version of a key lime vinaigrette. I'm not gonna make the vinaigrette for you, but I'm gonna just tell you what the ingredients are. I use a fresh cilantro some fresh shallots, a little bit of mustard, Dijon mustard, and then of course a little bit of olive oil, and some key lime juice, or you can just do a sprig of lime in there. Some salt and some pepper, grind it up, and you have yourself a key lime vinaigrette. I have it already made and it's in the bottle. So what goes in a Cuban salad? All right, so I have fresh heirloom tomatoes. You don't have to use the heirloom tomatoes. I just like them. I'm gonna use some red onion. Now, I've never been to Cuba, but the islands here in the Keys are just, uh, we have a lot of them here. And there's a lot of Cuban food. And that's where I learned to do most of my Cuban style cooking. A little bit of the dressing. Um, I'm going to give it a toss. And then add a little bit of fresh cilantro. I have clients that uh, don't eat salad and they say they love this salad. And that's a compliment. There you go a Caribbean dinner. If you like what you've seen, you can be, reach me on my website, Clouds and My Coffee Catering, also my Facebook or Instagram account. Or hey, if you happen to be vacationing here in the Florida Keys, we're at the halfway point, mile marker 50 between Miami and Key West. You can stop by to see me at the table or you can hire me as your private chef. If you'd like to see more of me, stay tuned for the next three episodes, which is all about the pink. Grego with Island Breeze Vacation. Island Breeze manages vacation rental properties in Marathon, Key Colony Beach, and Grassy Key. We have everything from modest condominiums to luxury vacation rentals with views like this. We are locally owned and operated and we want you to experience the Florida Keys like the locals do. To book your vacation today, call Island Breeze.